My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm going to teach you how to do the No Comply 180. This trick is a very, very cool trick. Once you get it down, it's super fun and it's really cool to just roll around and do it while you're cruising. It's actually a very basic trick to break down. So we're going to go through all the steps and I think you'll find it quite easy to practice it and then just get it while rolling. For the no comply, it would be good to be really comfortable on your board, be riding around, be able to do your ollies and your front side 180s. I mean, there's no like set tricks that you have to have to know in order to do the no comply, but those would be good ones that would get you really comfortable and ready to start learning this trick. So first things first, just like any trick, here's the foot position. Your front foot is right there. It doesn't matter so much where your front foot is because really, you're gonna be stepping off with your front foot. Your back foot is right there in the little back pocket. You can kind of have it on the edge, but just a little bit back. For the first actual piece of this trick, put both of your feet on there. You're gonna have your back foot up, not on the tail, because you're gonna be just practicing stepping off. I know this is like the most basic, like you don't really need to practice this, but just think with the whole piece. So put your feet just like that, step off of your front foot. And as you're just practicing stepping out your front foot, I also want you to be turning your upper body. When people first try to learn this trick, they try and step off and it's, they're having a, A, they have a hard time just stepping off their board while, while they're moving and it kind of makes it weird. But also they have a hard time turning their upper body. Not necessarily a hard time, but it's just this thing that they don't do. So you want to step off and turn your upper body. Think with that. Okay, so for the next practice step, your front foot is off. So you're just standing with your front foot there and your back foot is on the tail where you would have your back foot to pop the board, just like that, right in that pocket. And then you're just gonna practice doing the pop with the 180. Now remember, you are gonna be turning your shoulders. So have your front foot off and then just pop that foot and make it go around. Pop the foot, make it go around. Don't pop it like a pop shove it, pop it like a 180. And what I mean when I say that is your foot has to stay on the board and it has to turn the 180 degrees. So pop, shoot, boom. Pop, shoot, boom. This practice step right here is the most important part. If you get this practice step really down, then it's just practicing the full thing, which is stepping off and then doing that is really all it is. Now, the great thing with this trick is that you can break it down into the full trick very, very slow. So you can stand on your board, step off, have your back foot there, pop it around, leave your back foot on, and then you can just step up with your front foot and put it on the board. Like really, that was the full trick. It was just really slow. And all of the steps were really broken down. It doesn't matter how slow you do this. You've done the no comply 180. Was it very slow? Yeah, it was super slow. <laughs> so just do that a whole bunch of times. And then once you have that down, all you're going to be doing is doing that fast. All three of those steps, step off, pop the board, do the 180, and then put your front foot back on. That's the full trick. Now you just have to do it fast. So you can kind of just speed up and do it faster and faster and faster and faster and faster until you can do it rolling step off, pop your back foot, bring it around, bring your front foot back on, land, and roll away. It's gonna take some practice to get that fast, but just like any trick, it's gonna take some practice, period, right? One of the things that people have a hard time with on this is when you're riding, your back foot is already on the tail. So if you step off with your front foot, your tail is gonna automatically go up. That's really awkward, right? So it can be kind of like, well, when do I step off and when do I pop? At the exact same time. As you're stepping off with your front foot, you better be popping already. Otherwise your board's gonna fly up and it's gonna hit you in the knee. So step off and then at the same time, pop your back foot. And remember, your, your upper body is gonna be doing that 180. So your upper body's already turning as you pop up. And then you pop that foot have your back foot go around, your back foot comes down, the 180 is complete, and your front foot then goes on. The higher you can pop this trick, the better, because then you can just step off with your front foot and jump back on. And that's 
basically the full trick. So you have your feet in the position just like this. Your front foot is on the front of the board, your back foot on the tail. You're riding with a bit of speed and all of your weight is on the front foot. And then you're gonna have to bring your weight just off of your front foot, just enough to step off of the board. And then all the weight goes onto your front foot because you're stepping. You're stepping onto the ground with your front foot. So your weight transfers to that front foot, comes off the back foot, and then at the same time, the same exact time, the back foot pops the tail, it brings it around, does the 180, which means your upper body has to be doing the 180 as well. Pops that around, you jump, and then you bring your front foot back onto the board, and the 180 is completed, and then you roll away switch. The biggest part where you're gonna have problems is the transfer of your weight when you step off of your front foot. It, get, it can get like really weird. So your weight is on your front foot, and then you're gonna step off and for a split second, your weight can go to the back foot, but that's only gonna be to pop your board, because remember, you're stepping onto the ground. So weight transfer to your, your front foot, which steps onto the ground as your back foot pops the board. But in order to take a step from your front foot on the board to off the board, you're gonna have to have your weight at least for a split second also to do the pop down onto your back foot. I don't know if that makes sense. It seems a little bit confusing, but you're riding, weight on your front foot, step off to your front foot just for a split second, pop it on the back. Your weight is still gonna go to your front foot then because you're gonna step down and then you're gonna pop around and do the 180. So, Play around with that and I think you'll see what I mean. The main thing I want you to think with on this trick is it's actually really, really easy. You just have to break down all of those steps into its own separate thing. And then it's basically three steps, which is the step off, the pop of the 180, and then the step back on. And the great thing is, like I said, you can break it down as slow as you want to and then just speed it up. So get this trick down, have a ton of fun learning it, and just get it to the point where you're just rolling down the street and popping no comply 180s. It's really, really fun. To learn the full basics of skateboarding and then up to the most very advanced tricks, definitely get Skateboarding Made Simple. There are six volumes. It's available at brailleskateboarding.com, iTunes, and Google Play. It's available as a digital download, so you can just go check it out. Boom, get the video, get started skating, and roll, 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 roll. Have a ton of fun. Thanks a lot for watching. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys are having a ton of fun learning to skate. Remember to subscribe, click that like button, and leave us a comment below.